tailgate brewery, peanut butter, milk stout. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Blind Date with Silla Black. Not really. I have got a can of the Tailgate Brewery peanut butter milk stout. Tailgate Brewery are from the United States, to be specific, Tennessee. And uh, in Tennessee, there was a place called Nashville. Don't know whether you've heard of it quite well known on the country scene. It is technically the home of country music and they have got a fantastic musical heritage in that city. They also have these lot, the Tailgate Brewery. Now I've only tried one of theirs before and that was the, uh, the orange wheat beer. It was okay. Um, I didn't think it was outstanding, but I just thought it was okay. It didn't do, it didn't offend me, if you like. And um, this is one of their core range, and they reckon it's one of their most awarded beers. So that does sound interesting. Um, I think they're in the same situation as everyone else at the moment with this COVID-19. I think their tap room has shut, but you can order stuff online from them and I think they, they do what's called curbside delivery so basically you go there it's like a takeaway so they're still doing that which is good I don't like to see breweries um, struggling like that especially in times like these um, I know very little about this there isn't much information on the website so I'm just going to wing this and see what is going on with it so I'm going to shut up now and investigate this Magoo will get the bins on. I don't know what Percy is eating, but it absolutely fucking stinks. He needs to pull through with a Christmas tree. He is that bad. Feisty beast. Hopefully this will cheer me up a little bit. Uh, this is a peanut butter milk stout with peanut butter flavour. Mmm, alarm bells. I do like peanut butter, but fucking hell. I'm all for experimentation and all that, but you can get these stouts so wrong when you try and flavour them flavour of them, flavour them. It's a 330 mil can and it is 5.8%, 5 .5 so it's a little bit hefty. Uh, I do like that. If you look at the, the barcode, it's in the shape of Tennessee, as Tennessee appears on the map. Tennessee, of course, is in the south. There is the can, I do like that got a pickup on the back on the front of it top of the can back of the can now it doesn't say much about the ingredients on here i.e the hops and whatnot um yeah a bit scant on the oh it's got roasted barley and chocolate okay oh the malts i do lie i do lie they have got magnum hops the malt they're using is pale chocolate malt and roasted barley. Okay. So, let's stop guessing. Let's get it open and let's see what's going on. <coughs> on the nose, out of the can. Yeah, very, very peanutty. There's almost like a wafer aroma to it as well. You know, like a wafer biscuit. It's got between that and peanut butter. It does smell nice, I will give it that. Let's get it in the glass. Beige, one and a half finger. Fizzy, white head, 
No, it's actually off-white, beige almost. Oh, it's more the same. It's like a wafer and peanut flavour. Very sweet. It's almost like a creaminess to it as well. well. That would be, of course, the lactose that they've used. It does, this could be really nice or absolutely disgusting. I don't think there's going to be any half measures with this. So let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Not bad. Loose. Give me a sec. Have a taste of that. That's weird. Mm. Peanut butter. Mm. Wafer. Mm. Yeah. A bit. Likey, no likey. Hmm? No. Fair enough. The missus weren't so fast on this. Um, she likes peanut butter, but um, I think it's not bad. Super smooth, wafer, peanuts, and chocolate. Dark chocolate. That's what I'm getting. And a creaminess, sweet creaminess from the lactose that they've put into this. And I have to say, I can see why this is one awards. Um, some people may call this a pastry stout. It hasn't got the ABV of a pastry stout, but I have to say, it's not bad. I couldn't drink a lot of it. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. And this, I'd get rather sick of it after a while. but it's got a rich mouthfeel, slight carbonation, um, nice wafer, biscuity wafer. You know the sweet wafers you get like in um, you know the ice cream? That sweet ice cream wafer, tastes like that, with peanut and dark chocolate. But it's, it's not as sickly sweet as that sounds. This has got a very nice dark chocolate overtone which bitters it up quite a bit. And all in all, even though this style really isn't my thing, I have to say this isn't too bad. A little bit of a novelty beer, I will say that. Um, We've obviously used peanut flavouring in it, but it's okay. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, it would go well with some sort of like eat and mess dessert or something like that. But but it isn't bad. It is not bad. So what's the verdict on this? Well, I'm not a massive fan of these, I call them sort of novelty beers where you've got, well, some people call them pastry stouts and stuff like that. They're basically super sweet or sweetened stouts. Now I must admit, I'm a fan of traditional stouts. Um, the sweetness on this is not too bad. I have tasted a hell of a lot sweetener sweeter. The marshmallow stout that um, Tiny Rebel do, that for me was just way too sweet. This is nowhere near it. It's got sweet flavours to it, but there's a nice dark chocolate, which I'm assuming is coming from the chocolate malt that they've used, that bitters it up quite nice. So it doesn't give you that sickly sweet flavour. I have to say, if they called it ice cream cone stout, I'd have said, yeah, that's bang on. The peanuts, the peanuts are quite subtle, I think. But it ain't bad. It's okay. I'll give that 
I'll give it a seven out of ten. And what I recommend, I got this from Beers of Europe. It was over two pound a can. Now, if you just want to taste it just to see what it's like, then fair enough. But I wouldn't buy too many of these. This could get pretty sickly after a while. I think I'm going to have this and that'll be it. So, yeah, that's enough for me. Seven out of ten and recommended if you like ice cream cone flavour with some chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And remember, beer is working class champagne.